she's been sent home several times this year, at least four or five, with headaches, and she obviously goes pale. Yeah. And then today we went to the movies, and then as we left, she was just white as a sheet. Yeah. And she said her head was hurting. She's, she hasn't got much colour at all. I'm not sure if you get that on the camera or not, Georgia, but. Um, we could always Photoshop you and make you look <laughs> white. Alright, let's have a look again, mate. So these is where I've marked off the brakes there. And you can see it's quite fluidy around there. There's a lot of fluid around that spot there. And not much there at all. Um, similar thing down here, but it, it, it looked like there was a break on the scope. But to me, I'm not really seeing a lot on the patient there. And all this seems really clear. Yeah, I'll just get you to sit up a little bit, Ainsley. And then when we actually palpate these joints here, they all do what they're supposed to do until we get down to this guy here and that's not moving at all like it should anyway now Ainsley that's tender isn't it love when we touch mm -hmm. that yeah yeah there hasn't been any trauma she hasn't fallen and she hasn't had a big accident or anything like that um, and I'm pretty confident well, I'm very confident that we can get the right line of correction on this without a film right now but you know, if she comes back in a few days and the findings for that subluxation are still there or she's not responding very well, we might get a picture of her. Come over here, mate. I'm going to get you to come stand up on this one. You don't have much colour in your face, do you? And all of the headaches across your forehead, isn't it, you were saying? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Just relax these. That's tender there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people think when you get pain in the head, it's always from the neck, but it's not. You okay, love? Yep. You're not nervous? Um, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. I can't hurt you, sweetie, so don't worry. This might be a little bit uncomfortable just because you'll feel it move. Um, and you'll hear a little bit of a click, but I can't hurt you. Now just bring your chin up a little, that's it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squish you down a little bit and I'm going to hold your head with my arm like that so your head doesn't pop up in the air and you, all you've got to do is just uh, relax your shoulders a little bit. That was good wasn't it? Yeah. And we'll let that off. Now I reckon you'll have colour in your face straight away. step down a bit you might feel a little bit dizzy you feel a bit lightheaded or a bit flushed in the face a bit lightheaded, a bit lightheaded yeah that makes sense come and have a seat though oh you can smile <laughs> that's good that's a good change yeah, she wasn't giggling before so that's good too yeah you're still going to have a little bit of a headache here for a minute but it should feel like there's a little bit of pressure come off already does it feel like that yeah yeah, you can tell me if it doesn't, that's okay too. No, feels better. Feels better. Awesome. If before that pain up there and the bad feeling was 10 out of 10, that means that's the worst it could be, what would you say it is now? Mm -hmm. Maybe five. Five, that's good. That's good. So that's half. It's probably been a minute now. So that means in about half an hour or an hour, it would be pretty good. Yeah, she's much more expressive. Yeah, well she's actually talking to us. Yeah. So that's a nice change. <laughs> that's a high five, buddy. It's a big change you're not talking all the way through too. Good. Thank you very much. So she's, she's better already, she, I can tell. Her whole personality shifts. Just because she she must feel so bad that she can't you know. Well it's a nervous stuff. system. Like when those blood vessels are dilated, it's it's affecting a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you just feel really heavy and yuck, don't you? All right, buddy. Thank you. No worries.